If we're trying to effectively evangelize, then we need to know our audience. How can we be better prepared to share our faith with others? Find out on Wonders Without Number. Evangelism by the book. What does that mean? <laughs> sure, that just means when we're sharing our faith, we should really keep in mind what God has to say about all these things rather than coming up with our own philosophies on who it is that we're talking to. It tells us that the wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all the godlessness and wickedness of people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. Mm -hmm. Since what may be known about God is plain to them because God has made it plain to them. So what we see in this passage is that the skeptics are not rejecting what we're sharing because of their superior intellectual knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's because of their own sinful nature. They don't want these things to be true. How do we know it's been plain to them? Because it says that God himself has made it plain to them. So it's not for us to come along and try to clarify everything and now they get it. Exactly. God's already made that plain to them. They need to have their spiritual blinders removed. And so that's what we do as we share the gospel with them, share scripture with them, and we can share apologetics along the way. Start where you are. A lot of people say, you know, well, maybe someday I'm going to be a missionary and go across the world and uh -huh. share the gospel, and that'd be very exciting, and that's great, and God it may is. call them to do that. But a lot of those people aren't even sharing with their next door neighbors or their coworkers or their students at school or something like that. So I always say, start where you are. If God wants you to be a missionary, that's fine. He might be calling you to that, but at least witness to those people that are around you. Yes. And if you think about it, why wouldn't we? If we don't share our faith, and many Christians are hesitant to do that, when we don't share faith, it tells a skeptic one of two things. Either first of all, that we don't really believe what we say we believe, mm -hmm. so why bother telling them? Right. Or number two, we do believe it, we just don't care enough about them to share it with them. Be bold, know that this is true. It's not about us proving everything, it's about us being a vessel to share it with the other person. Be gracious about it, be praying for them, be a Christ-like example, and let the Holy Spirit do all the heavy lifting.